Okay, tonight I'm very excited. Garrett Oliver, the guru of beer, is coming to the Mohawk House. It's a great honor to Steve, the owner, and also myself, and a lot of other people that are coming. Beer dinners are <laughs> up and coming. Definitely more difficult than pairing um, wine to food, I believe, because there's so many more characteristics to the beer. It's still relatively new, you know. Um, as for beer and wine, traditionally people, you know, within, when they go out to eat, they, they have wine with food. Well, uh, with, within, of course, the craze, that, well, not even the craze, but with, with good beer coming out now, um, beer dinners really now are showing you know, the palates, the different flavors of beer and how they pair with different uh, ingredients. I think beer dinners are great. Uh, we've been doing them for 20 years now. Um, Garrett's pretty much the godfather of beer dinners. Well, when I first started doing beer dinners, it was the mid 80s. Basically, nobody had ever heard of craft beer, uh, etc. And what's really interesting now is how the beer dinner has become really very mainstream. And the idea that somehow wine was connected to food and beer wasn't connected to food, you know, it was always a false idea. You know, I really do think, as much as I love wine, that, that beer really is uh, a broader set of flavors. I have to admit, I think that wine is easier to cook with, but if I had to choose one of them for pairing, I think beer is far superior at pairing. As I respect the brewer, and the components that they put into their, into their beer. And what's good for me is I can talk to really high-end brewers that give me ideas of this beer has this characteristic, it has these flavors, it has a chocolate, chocolate flavor, a coffee flavor, apricot flavor, and I can work a menu around that and complement the beer and the beer complement the food. People are still skeptical, you know, it's, uh, still kind of, oh, you can, you can pair beer with food? Oh, well, you know, no, you can do that. You know, people traditionally, in the common sense, you know, they think of beer at home. It's, it's the only thing you, pay, you pair beer with is wings or bar food. No, not so much, especially not here. The better beer you have, you know, the better, uh, better ingredients you use for, use for your food, um, you definitely can play around a lot. There's a lot of room for play. I think what really makes them important is having the brewery behind them as well as the restaurant doing them because it's not just to bring customers in, it's really for the experience and if the experience is not well thought out, uh, it's not that it falls flat but it really doesn't highlight what you're trying to do. In some ways tonight the thing that really stood out was just uh, in a way was you know I love the beer, I love the food, but the people what I really particularly loved was how much people love this place, you know, and how proud they are that it's here. You know, you don't see that all the time, you know, I mean, you see a lot of people come and they enjoy the food, they, you know, they, they enjoy the presentation, they like the beers, etc. But every person I talked to said, you know, this is our place, you know, we love this place, we come here all the time. And, you know, that, that's really awesome, it's heartwarming, you know, I mean, it really means that the proprietors of, uh, you know, really brought something to this area, and yeah, that's great.